Hey, so we're back. Uh, first off, this is Jacob, Hi. one of my flatmates. He lives in that room there, and uh, we're going to be working on a project for the next couple videos with each other. I wanted to sort of involve a bit more of the flat. I mean, he does engineering anyway, you do the yeah. robotics, um, and he's in third year as well. So it's sort of like, it's all within our field. I mean, this isn't necessarily. What do you mean, within our field? <laughs> this isn't within our field. Uh, so the, the project that we're doing involves these. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it that well, but there'll be a little unboxing video maybe like here, because I've pre-filmed that, because I'm great at doing these YouTube things now. And um, we're basically looking at these little Nerf guns. The Nerf... Jolt. Jolt. Nerf Jolt. So they're like little, little guns you like pull back the little plunger, and then fire it. And the bullet has come almost back to me. Um, so what we're gonna be looking at is basically upgrading them so you can actually like make them fire uh, faster and harder. Oh, I've got some nice ideas for mine. Yeah, we're gonna be going through like the ideas and stuff today. Um, and then what we're also gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking to do like cosmetic upgrades as well. So we're going to try and base it on, I think we agreed on three criteria in the end, which will be like power. Yeah, power, accuracy to be say, and then just yeah. how it looks. Accuracy and like looks. So what we'll do is for looks, and for a lot of this judging anyway, we'll get our third flatmate, Hassan, or you'll probably hear us refer to him more as Gus anyway. Um, we'll get Gus uh, to judge them and judge their looks and stuff. Yeah, because he's not going to know what they look like or what's going on in this competition. He'll do it. Yeah, I mean... we are unbiased. I think he watches judge. the videos, so... Hi, Gus. Oh, no. But um, anyway. he will still be unbiased in the sense of we... He won't see the finished products until we've... Because it'll be in yeah. the final episode. Yeah. It's going to be probably like a four-part series. So this is part one, where we're going to be introducing Jacob, introducing the concept... And then we're going to talk through the ideas that we want to do. And we're going to draw them on this handy dandy whiteboard that we've had installed. Um, and by installed, I mean 3M stripped to the wall. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be putting our ideas on here and drawing them uh, individually. And then what we'll do from that is then we'll go ahead and we'll basically sort of discuss our ideas together. And that will be probably the end of this episode. So all you're going to see this episode is a bit of... Um, Design sort of like uh, questioning and planning and idea then generation idea sort of generations. Stuff. And we're going to try and stick to different ideas because there's a very um, normalized idea on how to upgrade these. Do you want to talk about that? Well, it's just upgrading the spring and then removing one of the blockers so that the yeah. plunger works. So the, the normal idea it would be to actually like remove the, the base because you can't actually take this uh, down too much. You can only take it down a certain amount. So the normal idea is just to change the spring in there uh, to a better spring, basically. So we're going to try and take different tacts uh, and try and not use the same method to upgrade them necessarily and see what we come up with so that we can maybe... Because if we use the same thing, we're probably just going to end up with the same power unless we find different springs, which is yeah. possible we can do. But size-wise, I suppose you could find a bigger length spring. Yeah, but that involves having to... Uh... Push it in a bit more. Yeah, it might make it harder to use. I don't know. But anyway, uh, that's the sort of plan for this video. You'll be seeing more of Jacob and Gus anyway, because we're going to be starting a podcast soon. Um, this room is very echoey right now, because as you saw in my like video around here, it's just one big room. Like Our kitchen is there, and then this is the living room. So hopefully once we fill this with some more junk on the windowsill, and yeah. Bruce gets a bit bigger, um, there'll be less uh, echo and more sound absorption in here. So, do you want to go first in talking about how you want to do it? Are you? I was going to let you take the lead. Okay, do you I not know? We both had the same idea, is that we don't want to reveal our hand. Okay, yet. so what we're going to do then is I'm going to probably cut us here, and we're going to move the camera to face a bit more towards the whiteboard, and I'm probably going to stand on the sofa. Uh, so you might hear me a little bit less because the mic is down there, but my plan. Let's give me a little ollie. Um, so if you look at the gun, uh, I'll show the, the tape apart video like here again. So it's got one spring inside of it and then the majority of it is just still the plunger and it's very airtight anyway. So what I want to do is I want to work on accuracy more because I've had a little shot with them. I'm not the greatest um, shot anyway as Jacob can attest when he does his, I'm sure. Um, I've drawn this really horribly. 
In fact, let's just remove that. There we go, okay. So it has one spring in it currently here. What I wanna do to increase the power, instead of getting another spring, is I actually wanna double down and get a spring that will fit inside of the first spring or outside so that there'll be a spring there and then inside I'll have another tighter spring and that'll allow me to have a little bit more power on the pullback and the shoot. There's also a little air buffer here which sort of um, reduces some of the air pressure that can like the maximum air pressure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that. That's like a quite common thing to do and I presume Jacob will do a similar thing but my method is gonna to be to basically double down on the springs. So then when it comes to looks and accuracy, what I'm going to probably do is I might try and 3D print a little, little um, like ACOG scope where it's like a little L shape basically. So it'll look like that. This bit will connect to the gun like by little mounts. And then this bit here will be like a, a little crosshair sight. So I'll be able to look down it and have a bit more of a um, a sort of idea of where I'll be shooting towards rather than currently, which is very much just blind eye. You kind of don't know what you're aiming for. I'm then going to try and style it, I think, more. I'm going to look to sand the majority of it. And then I think I'm going to go for more of a rustic look, maybe a bit more brown tones and a bit more gray tones. And I think I might even remove this, this end cap. And this might be replaced with maybe a little bit of a longer barrel to maybe give me a bit more accuracy and hopefully um, a bit more pressure behind it to build up and push it out. So maybe I might even look to extend the barrel just a little bit and hope that then I can sort of have a bit more of a straight shot rather than it arcing closer to the edge, which is like when you watch it fire from a distance, it starts to arc a little bit because of just like the drop from the weight. So I think the, the further out I can get that barrel going, the more I can sort of aim for. So this is like my rough idea. I'm gonna double down on the springs. So I'll write that. Double spring. Uh, and then I'm gonna go for rustic with longer barrel. And I think that's sort of what I'm going to go for. Um, it's quite simple. There's not a huge amount you can do with these guns. I did contemplate doing um, some compressed air at one point, um, but the complexity of that would end up being more that I would lose a lot of the gun and it wouldn't be the same device and I'd more just be producing a, an air gun at that point. So for now, I think what I'm going for is just that longer barrel doubled down on the springs with a rustic look to hopefully sort of I might even give it that rustic damage look and put some scratches on it, either purposefully or by accident during disassembly. And I think that is going to be my gun for now. So I'll, uh, I'll pass it over to Jacob, who's going to be on that side of the board. Right, so Ollie got some very good ideas so far, but very basic. What we're thinking, we have gun, yes? This is made for a child. It is not really that big enough for my hand. So. Extend the handle so that I can actually hold it. Also probably increase accuracy because I have to wield it better. And in this case, we can also put a bigger spring in. More power. Get rid of the dumb blocker at the top, don't need that. I'm not a child. I want to do some damage with this. Also, in this case, going to get a bit heavy, but also going to extend the barrel. Increase accuracy. But this means it's going to be harder to load it because, of course, we we'll want to put it all the way further back. Dark will be here and now. we are broken at the end. So, we now need to implement some sort of loading system. So, there will likely be electronics involved in this thing. And also, if I increase the, strip, the spring power, also going to need something heftier to pull this plunger back. So, I am thinking, essentially, making this automatic. So, I have to do very little. I just have to hold it and point. So, then that brings us to accuracy. So, we all know we're going to be a little bit better because it's extended barrel, but I don't know what I'm hitting. Now, as I said, pretty small. Don't really want to have to hold it up all the time. So, laser sight. And I'm thinking, just to spice things up, put one on either side. So I know you get that uh, laser dot gets bigger on one side, I know I'm roughly leaning and stuff, just to give it a bit of flair, make it a bit more pretty. And so, 
we can then go to how it's going to look. This is, this is the fun part. Because I'm going to be adding all this stuff on. So I'm actually going to have a motor mounted somewhere. I'll probably have to put it down here. Or even on the side. A magazine as well, possibly. There'll only be a small one because we're only firing two or three shots for this. So it's going to be have these little like boxy and bulky and wired everywhere. So I'm thinking very cyberpunk for the style. Which means it can look, it's meant to look rough and like it's all slapped together. And it will. And it might not even work, but it will look the tits. So there we go. Okay, so that is very interesting. We've gone for two very different designs. Jacob is Better for the top, possibly? As far as I'm aware, not making a new gun? No, upgrades, people, upgrades. Upgrades, uh... but like, on the grand scheme of things, what's going to be, what from this is going to be left? Well, I'm not building a new gun. I'll, it'll just be adding stuff on. I just don't so... know how you're getting that magazine in with this trigger. With that trigger? Trigger yeah. works with the bottom of the... True. Thing, doesn't Are it? you going to reroute the trigger and stuff? Trigger works down here. It just yeah. lets the plunger off and it goes up. So the trigger will work. So you've fine. got you've got a lot of three D printing for actual um, big parts. Coming. Yeah, there will be because for the extension on the handle. You need the new plunger the as well. Yeah. You need a new plunger three D printed. No, I reckon I can get away with this one still. It How are you going to have a longer handle without the same plunger? Well, look it? at where the plunger goes to on that. I mean, yeah. You've still got you've about still a got centimetre's a worth of play. Of, so you're, you're thinking you're going to pop this bottom bit off yeah. and use that centimetre worth of play. Well, Possibly, to be fair, you or also even just extend onto it. I don't you need don't new plunger, necessarily need the plunger visible if you're going to if use... Make it automatic. Automatic. Yeah. I'm not going to be touching that plunger. If you, can, if you have a button on the side instead which pulls it down, you're fine, I guess. Because I admit, like, you are technically missing, you're not technically missing any fingers, it all fits, right. Quite. but it's a little compressed. Yeah. Little tight, yeah. So you've gone for, yeah, a very big, um, big different and build. In an ideal world, if I work it right, mm -hmm. the motor will power both the reload and the cocking. Okay. That'd be interesting to see. If I can get that to work. So we did, we had spoken about these designs a little bit beforehand, and we had spoken about, for example, like the compressed air and stuff. Yeah. Um, and how it being a bit of a... Well, we're making an air gun if we did Bit of a rogue move, yeah. Um, I didn't expect any of this from you, to be fair. Um, the laser sights, super cool. Yeah. I like the fact that also you said you are going to have one on each side. Yeah, well, because it Starcraft would, does that. And it, I'm like, they do more players. Like, it would give you cool. some fucking sick accuracy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to beat that. I've not sworn in any of these videos. You said sick, you didn't swear. I said the F word. Yeah, it really blends, <laughs> doesn't it, with my vocabulary. Well, we're going to work on that. I'm going to try and stay as child-friendly-ish as possible. Um, I said tits in the last one. Ah, well, we're fucked then for this one. It's not like I'm monetized I right say, now anyway. I we're going to get monetized just yet. <laughs> it's not like I'm making money from this. So anyway, so um, yeah, the lasers are really cool. I do like that we both decided to extend the barrel. Yeah. Um, I think that's quite an interesting thing that that's the only similarity we have. Because I've gone for like a an ACOG scope, so nothing similar to what you've done. Yeah, for you did that, and I was like, madman. Gonna look down the sight of that? I'm gonna look yeah. down the sight. I'm gonna mop it. I'm gonna look down the sight. <laughs> Admittedly, my accuracy good. is already pretty poor, but like, I think. Right. What, what are you gonna be able to see? Like, we're like, only shooting, like, what? Seven feet away, maybe? Yeah, but I'm not getting like a three times scope, I'm getting an ACOG, so I can just be like, okay, I can line up, and then I can. That skimmed the TV. Yeah, well, that's what, I, that's what I was aiming for. I don't even for. need to look. Yeah, I need to look like, for the dots and be lasers like, lasers are going to be really cool, go especially there. with both of them, because you yeah. know, basically, it should land somewhere in the middle along that axis. Yeah. Like, the Y axis, oh, it should no. land somewhere in the middle. Ah. Oh. What? Batteries. This thing's going to weigh a little bit. Yeah, but it's fine, because yeah. you're holding it. You probably get a, you probably get away with a little, yeah. little uh, D battery, 9 volt. Yeah. Um, about. You said, just as we finished, actually, you said you had some extra things you wanted to add. I was thinking of maybe adding like a wrist brace, depending on how heavy this is going to get. So <laughs> With those batteries. Gunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, if I've got two laser sights at the front, and yeah. then it's, if it doesn't look like. Too heavy leaning forward, benefit, I have a bit of weight at the back. Benefit but then I might you have, have though with, with, the, the with the laser sights are, is you can power them off of cell batteries. Yeah. So you can hide the laser sights pretty easily, I'd say. You just got to get two like um, junky lasers from Amazon, basically, yeah. which you can probably get for like a couple quid each. 
um, and then strap those on with like a 3D printed, because you can even incorporate that into your longer barrel. Yeah, that's why I was That would be that. quite um, sick. And we've gone for very different aesthetics. Now, I genuinely would have thought that you would have gone for a very similar to mine, like rustic, because I, I thought, thought you were going to try and make it almost like a Han Solo blaster. I was, well, I think it made more revolver. I yeah. The magazine idea I've had for a while. The magazine's going to be cool. I was then thinking, like, just having a revolver. Mm -hmm. Even if it can be one of those magazines where you push it through the gun, basically, would be pretty cool. If you can't automate it, just one where you, like, pop it up every time you fire. So the only thing you're doing is trigger, pop, trigger, pop. Yeah. Or, I mean, possibly at this point, really, the only thing stopping it from firing is either the trigger not being pulled. Mm. That, no, that's pretty much it. So and I've gone for... If I just had a spring pushing darts in, mm. once the first one fires, next one drops in, Yeah. it won't fire again until I pull the trigger. So it's loaded, yeah. but then it could quite jam quite easily. I just yeah. ram it. Arguably, though, I look like a caveman in comparison to yours. I've gone... Let's just chuck an extra spring in there because, in all honesty, I kind of thought you were just going to go for big spring, boy. I didn't think you were going to go for. Oh, I have gone big spring. Yeah, but that's you also have. made everything else better. So. <laughs> you've you've gone like really far ahead. Like we spoke about this, and you were like, it seemed like big spring was going to be what you were going to go for, and I was like, maybe double spring will beat big spring. And in fact, now that I've outed myself with my design, because we said this, we said they're going to go on the board, and um, there's no like changing your design now. So my design is this. And your design is this, like, even yeah. with the additions, it's fine. But, like, as long as they're not additions that sort of encroach on this, which... No. No. <laughs> um, that's our design. So I look very much like I've just discovered fire. Yeah. And you are literally living in uh, cyberpunk. Yeah. So it's going to be really interesting uh, to see. To be fair, though, I have one thing on my side. is Mine is way more likely to work. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. if we're talking about competition day when it comes to firing these at like a couple of cans mine is gonna definitely fire mine unless unless i manage to snap the plunger or do something irreparable oh, damage no, to it that would be such a shame yeah i've been by default and it wouldn't even have to work but um yours on the other hand i'm gonna be really interested because the next episode is basically gonna be oh, no what are you thinking no no that's just part of the loading system so okay so the, what, the next episode's going to look more like um, a bit more screen recordings. Um, I'm going to get you to install OBS on your computer. Oh, yeah. And it'll be, you'll be seeing some screen recordings of like some 3D design because some of us have a lot more to do than others. Yep. I've got to do an ACOG scope and an extended barrel. So I'm going to have a pretty quick week, I think, of that. Um, I've got to kind of make mine look really cool though, and yours could end up looking really cool. Yours is like I've, uh, yours is like this. Yours could either look absolutely it. amazing, or if you if you even like try and cut corners with it, yours is gonna look so garbage. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely have to paint it because. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what um, we're both gonna have exactly. to do. I think I'm gonna sand it and paint them, um, get that like primer going. Yeah. Um, and then just sort of give it like, I'm thinking I'm going to go for like a gunmetal grey and then I'm going to tarnish it and stuff and put some like uh, damage marks on it and stuff and maybe like even some like uh, burn marks at the end of the barrel, like the bullets are coming out like really hot and fast sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm thinking at least. But uh, yeah, yours is going to be very interesting to see. Like you do have the benefit of like, if you can pull off this, you've won probably. Yeah. If, I do think though the style is niche. Like I can see people not like it'll either be feel like I like that or I mm. like well, that looks horrible. That's like you just glued a bunch of bits together and yeah. glued the gun. Part of me thinks I'm gonna really need to um, up my aesthetic game on this to try and. Oh yeah, de win. definitely. Like I've got the the <laughs> fact that I said mine is kind of meant to look like it's cobbled together mm. works because I will be cobbling it together. Yeah. And I'm not even a cobbler, so this could be best. Might have to chuck some LEDs on there or something. Yeah, maybe. So give I'm it. To just give it a laser sight for the sake of a laser sight. Give it like a, an LED barrel, so you look like <laughs> it's just bright and it just shines towards. You know, like how they have like the yeah the flashing ones. Yeah, but like you get so it'd be like almost a mix between a ring light and an LED like ring at the end, sort of like where I can just sort of like trigger it with like a button up here. So I can be like, do, 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 blind you a little bit before you take your shot. Damn. Yeah, I might have to add little bits in like that because there is no way I'm winning this currently 
based on designs. Um, yeah, but like, it's all well and good saying I'm going oh, to yeah, go yeah, big. If, if I've you, got to pull it off. As if you can pull it off, yeah. You've got a lot of... Um, You've got a lot of drawing and 3D design ahead of you. Yeah, I've got to measure a lot of this. You've now. got like take this apart. Actually, to be fair, I said we were going to do a bit of the disassembly anyway now, um, just to sort of have a look. So I'll disassemble mine. Um, I've already done the pre-recorded it anyway, so I can do this a bit more off camera in a sense because you'll be able to see it somewhere. I might put it in between me and Jacob while I quickly take this apart. But for your knowledge, considering this is your design now, um, I'd be interested to see what you think. I want to show you the spring and stuff. So you can have a look at the current spring that's in there. That's also going to be a huge part of this, spring shopping. Yeah, well then when I've got the spring, I've got to find a motor for, with like, have a decent amount of torque to, to oh, set yeah. that thing back. Like, I'm not just going for it. I need a motor that is beefy. Our builds are going to be very different cost as well. Yeah. Maybe next time we do a, a competition like this, because we're going to do some more of these. Yeah. Um, they won't just all be like, let's upgrade a Nerf gun. There'll be different things, and we want to include Gus in the next one. Things, yeah. yeah. Um, we might have to start setting budgets, because um, this, yeah. could, this could run a rate real quick. Like, yours, like... Well, I was thinking of using bits I already have. Okay. So, like, yeah, if, if you, if you have some bits already, but like, you should be pretty good. But, like... I am not thinking. I don't think I've ended with a decent amount of torque. <laughs> oh, yeah, I might do, but... You don't oh, my, any, it's big. You don't have it's any big. lasers, either. The, like, little motor is, like, laser. Laser, that's not a problem. I get some laser pointers. But the motors, motors can get pricey. Yeah, yeah, motors can get pricey. And they're chunky. I possibly have some motors you can uh, look at as well. Oh, no. I've got maybe. some big yellow ones. I might still have that diddy little one. <laughs> that I ordered by mistake because I thought it was oh bigger. yeah but it's got some good talk so let's have a look at this I'm going to take this final but screw out enough, I'm going to have to do a lot of testing yeah and uh. then so this is what you're looking at currently um, I can't get the spring out as of yet because I'd have to it's during the proper disassembly where I'll have to pull this off and we'll probably need to get some more um, oil yeah it's like a bit, uh, of Vaseline. A bit of Vaseline in there yeah but they're pretty hefty springs already. Like, yeah, I thought they'd be more wiry than that. No, That's they're a... already pretty hefty. Like, you're gonna have to like to get a motor to pull back a heavier spring than that. You're gonna need some big torque. <laughs> Maybe we should have done the disassembly before the drawings. Nah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Have. <laughs> yeah, but basically, the way I've seen it is because I had to look at a video anyway just to check. Is we're gonna need to remove this. This is a pin basically yeah. on the top here. And then the guy that I watched replaced it with a screw because the pin isn't threaded or anything. It's just press fitted in. No. So once you remove it, it's like not going back in. Fair. But um, yeah, so that's that's this video What's basically. What's the inside? Oh, it's literally just yeah, empty it's plastic. just the empty nice. plastic with the um, uh, with the like limiter at the end. Yeah. So then put that back in but yeah so that's what we've got for this video mostly it was just sort of introducing this concept and then next video will be um probably a lot more of jacob's perspective than mine like an acog is not going to take me long um there's going to be a lot of measuring and stuff so i might get i presume you will hand draw some stuff probably yeah or so try and see if I sorry about that bit of a, a camera issue there we caught it early um as we were saying yeah it's not it's not an original idea, this. Yeah. A lot of people have modded it, but what we'll do is if you do any hand drawings or anything, um, chuck me some pictures and I'll, what I'll do is I'll overlay them on your footage as well so people can sort of see your sort of at least thought process, thought process with going because I tend to do that with some of mine anyway. And then um, that'll be next week's video and then probably what we'll do is we'll split it into design and sort of production next video yeah. and then assembly will be the third video and like assembly and testing, yeah. like like any like design production basically, assembly and testing, and then the fourth video will be the one where we have the competition, which will give uh, Hassan enough time to come back to yeah, us because he's currently me away. Gun when I find out that my idea doesn't work. And <laughs> yeah, enough time for Jacob. I'm to, gonna have to have a few iterations. Uh, I think pivot. Few prototypes. Jacob's gonna need time. No, for, there won't be pivots. No, it you can't. You can't pivot. To be fair, we've we've established yeah. this. Like it has to be what you've set out to. So yeah. I've gone very minimalist, which gives me a high chance of losing the competition. You've gone very... Um, Balls to the wall. Is it altruist, the word? Um, it is a word. I'm not sure if this is a word. Apparently. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> uh, and we'll just have to sort of see how they turn out. It'll probably be over, across like a month that we'll do this yeah. um, because you've got uni and stuff anyway going on. Um, so And you need we, we need time anyway to 3D print parts, 
Design and parts. And design parts. Order parts. Order in parts and put it together and everything. I think we still work. Yeah, cool. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll sort of see where we go from there. Um, my upload schedule has been really garbage, of course, before this. Um, I did a I've come back video after a month of no videos. And now this video comes out, I think, about a month after my I'm back video. That's what we like to see overall. Um, but we should have some more regular updates now. Yeah. We're going to have the podcast, which will be bi-weekly, which will be fun. It'll just be me, Jacob, and Gus uh, sat here, sort of chatting about a couple things uh, every two weeks or so. Trying to solve all the world's problems. Trying to solve the world's problems from a no. small sofa in London. God damn it. Um, okay. That's the, that's the catch line, isn't it? Solving the world's problems from a small sofa in London. I would call it a small sofa. It's an all right sofa. I write smaller. Um, <laughs> three blokes and a dog. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll be doing that. I've got a video coming up soon of me um, getting my desk and building it, which should make me 10 times more productive than not having a desk, or a what I have now at least. Stack of boxes. He does a stack of boxes. Uh, I'll, I'll show that in the, the video when I do that. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you have returned after my long delays and you haven't just decided to leave this channel. <laughs> if not, please come back. And um, that'll be it for this week. And I will show you... I was going to say, I'll see you next week. You will. I will see you You'll next week. I'll see you every day, before, every then day well. before then as well. Um, but I will... You got, I don't know what I'm signing off with here. I've lost my mind after that. I was going to say, I'll see you next week. Baffled you, haven't I, with my... With your wizardry. Big brain gun. <laughs> with your wizardry. We might, um, what I might do is I might clean up some of these drawings for the next video uh, when we're sat yeah. here so they're a bit cleaner because we did them very rough and on the spot. Like, this is the first time we've drawn anything on here. So we might clean up our designs a bit Absolutely. more, annotate them a bit more and stuff. And then in the next nice. video, we'll probably start sat here anyway and we can show off the, the things. Because I don't even know if they can see them, to be fair. Uh, with... A good point. The camera. Yeah. I just did mine big to fill up space. Yeah, I did mine really small. And because you did yours really small, I was <laughs> yeah. like, well, I'm doing big idea. Got to make yeah. it big. Um, if you can't see them once I review this, I will just insert some pictures of the final designs while we're talking about them. But uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. <laughs>